Well, how's it going, everybody? It's an awesome day out here in Alabama. Let me see if I can get through this little rapids. I've already caught a ton of fish and made a video. This is gonna be part two. Hold on, hold on. I'm down here fishing with Larry Melton Jr. And um, dude, he's, he's put me on, or us, on this amazing river here. It's beautiful. We've been catching Alabama bass like crazy. And they're getting more active as the day is going on. It's like, we've been out here for about two, three hours, already caught a bunch. And I think it's gonna get really fun. So this this place is just beautiful. Hopefully we can catch a bunch of fish. I'm really wanting to get a topwater bite because they weren't biting topwater earlier, but I think they might now. So uh, I'm gonna start casting here. They're coming along behind. Hopefully they're gonna catch some cool fish. He's already caught some cool stuff, putting together some good videos. Oh, huge gar right there. Wow. This is a really fun, really fun place to be at. They're in that current over there. Oh, well, he got hitting that. He hitting that current, so they're starting to get more in the current this morning. Well, it's getting late, getting close to afternoon. But um, I'm hoping to get some good ones. There's a little, little uh, Alabama bass there. What are you fishing with? Uh, we've been fishing streamers, poppers, anywhere between this size and about what pink yeah. I uh I think I made I mean I think they're hitting smaller stuff. Like I've tried spinnerbait and topwater just to I haven't got a hit on anything moving. Yeah. But I've caught everything on a heldermite. Well three are great. Yeah, you can drift a heldermite. Well you don't you're not flock as you conventional. But I still drifted them in certain areas yeah, and I love conventional. I caught a 19 and a quarter. 18 and a quarter? 19 and a quarter. No way! Mon monster. Is that the one y'all were hooting and hollering about at the top? No, this is, this is way up. This was like right after we put in. Like Oh, right there before the shoals? It was a deep section and yep. it was a big rock ledge in the middle and I was yep. fishing the middle. But this is uh, fish out, Fly Fish Alabama. So I'll get him on the video. If you, if you need somebody to take you out, because people ask me to take them out. <laughs> This guy will take you out, so he'll get pictures of some fish. I've been I've been watching his like pictures and stuff, and I'm like, man, I want to go there so bad. Oh, I didn't know this was the same section. He just invited me down. Oh yeah, it's on. I brought the obsidian bigger helgramites, and um, man, there's some big fish in here. So uh, I've only got a couple little ones so far in this video. I think this will catch me something good. I did get it. I got it. Good fish. Good fish. Ooh, there's a good one there. Ooh, there's a good one there. Come here. Oh yeah. We'll take that. Right now, the top water's still not getting me much. I haven't got anything on it yet. I haven't got a hit on it, so I threw on the bigger uh, Nico Helgramite, drifted it through there. That's a nice one there. Let's get the length on him, see what we're looking at. Put the board down. Ow! Woohoo! 16 incher. That's a good one. Good river fish. Alrighty. Goodbye, Mr. Scott. I feel like a subtle presentation like the Helgramite drifting style is just 
always going to work in rivers. You know, you, I want top water. I want other. I want to hit them, hit the spinner bait, but um, just throwing something simple, letting it kind of drift in the current, and that's a that's the big one. It looks huge, but I, it you know nothing for that fish to eat. So I threw the uh, crawl through there, caught one, kind of went all through there. Now I'm coming back through with the Helgemai. I already caught a bigger one, so just that's what he wanted to eat. That's you know right in front of him, what he's in tune to eating, and it's out in the. There's no one. See, oh, I have, oh, he came back for it. He came back for it. That's crazy. See, they're munching this thing. Wild. Look at that. Just what they wanted, what they're in tune to eating, what they're used to eating. Probably a 14, 15 incher. <laughs> That was two really quick. So many people can go through and fish the same river and catch different fish because there's fish at different levels a lot of times. So, uh, and there could be somebody come behind me and catch bigger ones or more. Um, that's just how it is, but you got to figure out how to catch them and whatever. And in a river, a lot of times they're just feeding several different ways. So, drifting in the deep holes is the way it's going to go. I wanted to make this a topwater video. I'm going to still try, but I'll. I'll do whatever the fish are eating. That's what I'll, that's, that's the main thing. Catch fish. There's one, there's one. Dude, they're thumping this thing. <laughs> Man, there's so many fish in here. These little shoals are loaded. This is not the normal type of fish. This is so much different than what I'm used to. As far as the majority of the rivers that I fish are not like this. Oh. Here comes Ben over there, and then we got Larry coming down over here. Let's see if he can make it through. Why is he only using half a paddle? Did he break his paddle? And stuck. Wow. <laughs> Poor guy over there. <laughs> Will he ever make it? Push, Larry, push. This guy, it's hopeless. Any on the buzz bait or anything? No, I can't get anything on top water. It's still drifting it in the current. Dude, I caught one of that popper, just like subtle pops, and it was pretty. I may do that. Um. So, uh, Larry, how's it going? It's going good. Give us a little update. What's going on with the paddle there? Uh, I broke it. I threw the buzz bait right through there, followed up with the Helga might catch it. I, I just threw the buzz bait through it twice, right over top of where I caught this fish. I want to catch a topwater fish, but they're making me use the... He looks a little different, I don't know. Oh, this has got a little different coloring to his... This may be a Cahaba bass. I, this ain't a, it ain't a spot. Well, I think I caught the Cahaba bass I've been looking for. We're gonna verify, but it definitely a little different there. It's about 12 inches long, pretty fish. Let's go ahead and let it go back in the water here. And, nope, then he's gone.
there you go. Uh, got it? Yeah. Falling apart. We lost the uh, drive, and Larry just broke his uh, paddle. The one half of the paddle, yeah. Oh my goodness. I knew I should have brought an extra paddle. I always bring extra paddles on river trips. Who's, who's getting one piece? <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought like, you had to. I should have brought an extra, but. Yeah. Your, your cock may be more to maneuver than ours are. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. This is a $300 one. Are you going through? Oh, oh, dude, if you go right there, you can make it. Yeah. We'll try to get over there. I'll just see over there. Oh, yeah. And it's a uh, break time. We uh, had a couple of incidences, nothing major happened. Lost a drive, Ben dove in, finally swam for it, got it. Um, Larry broke both parts of his paddle. Yeah. So I had to give him half of mine, so we're on half a paddle each. Good thing these uh, rabbits aren't too crazy uh, maneuvering down, but we're gonna make it. So we gotta take a little break, reorganize, and the river kind of changes through here. And I, I'm still counting on that top water. I'm gonna get something on top water at some point, but if not, I mean, I'm still catching them on that other lure, uh, the Helgramite and stuff. So it's been a fun time. We eat some snacks, uh, kind of get ready to go again. I think a lot of people try to block people's access to the Cahaba. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we catch, or if y'all catch them, brief in the comments. Absolutely. Where'd you get a high school? Same part. Same part. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There he is. Right where he should be. Right in the shade on the tree overhang. Your video has to make more than a thousand dollars for that to really even be worth it. Unless like it's just some passion project video. Yeah, the academic can just listen or like let songs play through the background. Like if I'm doing that, uh, that's good, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, good. Man, he's lively. Another, another 13 incher. Well, about 12 incher there. We're still picking them off. Here's some rapids coming up, so we've just been going through a little bit of slower water. But, um,. Yeah, he's got a tooth patch on him. So, another spot. Ooh, yeah. It's a little hard maneuvering with one little handle here, but still. Still going good. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> and he took a dive. Dude, that just looks so cool going down through there. Whenever you're fishing these rivers, you gotta just, especially as a new one, you gotta stop and soak in the scenery and enjoyment. Just, yeah, you know, you're catching fish here and there, or maybe a bunch of fish, or maybe no fish. But just this beauty, the noises, the scenery, that kind of stuff's always there. Ooh, it's getting a little, a little bit later in the day. I'm starting to get to that point where I'm starting to feel tired now. We got up super early. You know, we were at the ramp at like 5.30. Um, took a while to get going. We got a lot of filming. We did a lot of fishing way up there. Kind of took our time and it's starting to hit me now. I'm getting a little tired and um, ate some snacks. We had a lunch. I still got a little bit more food to eat here in just a little bit. Still got drinks to drink, but um, the fishing has slowed down. We've gotten some deeper stretches, um, but we still can catch a fish anywhere. The scenery though has gotten really, really cool. Some big old rock ledges. So I'm kind of just coasting through, fishing a little bit, a little easier, taking in the sights. And um, you know, we got a, probably, a, I don't know, mile or two more to go probably less than that i don't you know i think these ledges would be money i ain't seen I, i'm throwing a mag drive i ain't seen nothing follow or anything i just want to see one like I just follow it out or something. This is where, I mean, anything can live through here, but they got so much room to operate. This would be the stretch where we're on the set. You know, there'll be a... Well, we almost got all the kayaks loaded up, but we've got them back up here. So the work's almost all done. I'm exhausted. Are y'all uh, tired? Yes. That was, a, that was a good day. It was like a, <laughs> it was a fun day of like, we had fish all day. Yeah. And uh, I don't know how I've edited these videos. If I, one video or two videos, either way, it was like a really fun day. Lots of fish caught. Um, appreciate Larry inviting me down. And of course, um, of course Larry Mountain Jr., YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. 
Yeah. I don't, I'm not on TikTok, so I'm not. I'm, you should get on TikTok. I, 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 I don't want to get on TikTok. For, you don't have too long before it's probably gone, but like you should. Try yeah, yeah, it's it gonna, it's gonna fall <laughs> that's, apart. That's that's a heck of a pitch. Like get on before it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> about, by the time I get it figured out, it'll probably be over with. Yeah, yeah. probably. It's not yeah, for my age. One not for old people video. like me. You're not old. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate Ben coming out and following and uh, no, videoing and just I actually was watching him and learning some stuff. So he's got some really awesome shots. Check out his Instagram and YouTube Dorsal Outdoors. Instagram and YouTube, Dorsal Outdoors. Got some really cool uh, like pictures and videos and like really high quality stuff on there. It's pretty cool to check it out. So yeah, he had one of like a tarpon. Just look for the tarpon post. Look for the tarpon. <laughs> yeah, that, that one is that be the like, best one? Yeah. Okay, look for the tarpon. Yeah, I'll hey, watch it. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate these guys. Go check out their stuff. And that's it.